another one of my thrilling videos. It's great to be back. Uh, so today, uh, as you've probably already figured out, uh, we're going to be looking at the Minolta Zoom 60. Um, nice little camera, uh, which I conveniently picked up uh, from a charity shop alongside uh, some expired film, some uh, expired Kodak Color Plus from August 2010. Uh, for the princely sum, of one UK pound. Um, and I also got the case of it as well, so I was actually quite happy with that. Um, just before I continue, I just want to say apologies if you see my eyes every so often avert um, and go elsewhere. It's just that I've got a monitor on top of my camera, so I'm trying to remember to look start directly down the, the camera. So anyway, without further ado, um, let's just quickly talk about the camera and what was going on in the world. So the uh, Minolta Zoom 60, which was later rebranded to the Konica uh, Minolta Zoom 60, uh, was released in 2004. Uh, it is a 35 millimeter autofocus film camera with a focal length between 35 millimeters and 60 millimeters. Uh, it has an aperture between f6.3 and f10.3 and has a shutter speed between 1 to 50th of a second and 1 third of a second. Um, so, I suppose a, a capable little camera, I suppose. <laughs> um, but, you know, what was going on in the world? You know, 2004, um, you know, it was still um, a relatively calmer time uh, in comparison to today. And just before the event of social media, the iPhone was still not out. <laughs> At the cinema, uh, we were being spoilt by films such as Kill Bill Volume 2, great movie, Eternal Sunshine of a Spotless Mind, uh, Anchorman, which I know lots of people love, uh, and Shaun of the Dead. I never really got that movie. I really like Spaced and the creators of Space, but Shaun of the Dead never did it for me. Sorry. Um, in music, uh, The Prodigy released their most controversial album, um, Always Outnumbered, Never Outgunned, um, which interestingly is getting a 20 year uh, anniversary release on vinyl. Uh, and this camera is also 20 years old, obviously. Um, Kanye West uh, bought us The College Dropout, which was a, a really great album. Um, I didn't personally love it, but I understand the cultural significance of that album. Um, the Streets bought us a great, a grand don't come for free, which is a fantastic album. Uh, and Arcade Fire bought us Funeral. Um, never heard it, but apparently it's a good album, is it? Um, and then lastly, in video games, we had the amazing, the amazing uh, Half-Life 2, um, as well as Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, Halo 2, uh, Splinter Cell Pandora's Tomorrow, which is technically Splinter Cell 2, and Metroid Prime 2. Um, so obviously a lot of twos uh, going on, a lot of sequels. Um, so yeah, um, what else do I have to tell you about the camera? Well, I had a plan when I went out to shoot with this. Um, I went out to uh, a festival which was being held in Lowestoft, the first light festival. And uh, I had an idea on the day that I just wanted to try and take portraits of people. So I was getting quite close up to their faces. And as you will see in some of the shots, I was just stepping over maybe the, uh, the focal range when I was taking the shots. You can see when I've got it bang on, and when I've got it bang on with this camera, you can see the people's shoulders and their face beautifully. But if I'm just stepping in just a little bit and I'm losing maybe the shoulders, it's slightly blurring, well, not blurring their face, but it's slightly out of focus because I'm getting a little bit too close. But the ones that have come out in the way that I intended, they look really, really good. And also the fact that, you know, it's on expired film, um, just gave it a little extra cool look. Um, I haven't color corrected the images. They are as I got them. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. So without further ado, I'm just going to give you a quick look, or a quick look. Without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick close-up look of the camera and then I'm going to share the results with you. So I hope you enjoy the video. Please let me know if you actually own the uh, the Minolta Zoom 60 or a 
Konica version of it. And uh, I'll see you all on the next one. So take care for now. Cheers. OK, so as promised, we're going to take a little closer up look at the Minolta Zoom 60. Um, so if we start here at the front of the camera, it's pretty bare bones, uh, but all of it is self-explanatory. Uh, so if we just hold it up here, you can see it says Minolta, a spherical lens, zoom 35 to 60 millimeters. We'll have a little look, little look at that zoom lens in a moment. Um, on the front here, we have a few windows. So I'll just explain what each of those are. So obviously here, uh, you have the flash, that's quite self-explanatory. It's the same on all point and shoot cameras. Um, now we have this little circular window up here, this very small one. That is your self timer icon or your red eye reduction lamp. Then you have these two similar looking windows up the top here. That is your autofocus windows. Here in the center, we have the viewfinder. And then this other little small window, that is your metering window to ensure obviously, you know, it's metering correctly. Um, and that's it for the front of the camera. Um, on the bottom of the camera, we just have your serial number and a little screw thread uh, for when you pop it on your tripod. Now, the big question that everybody always asks, what batteries does it take? Well, this camera, if I can get it open, you will need two AA batteries. Yes, two AA batteries. And we will pop those back in right now. Okay, so moving around the side, we have the little area here, sorry, where you would thread your strap. I've taken that out for the purposes of the video because it is rather irritating to have it trailing around everywhere. Um, let's move to the top of the camera. So, we have uh, that on or, on, on or off switch here. So we're just gonna press that in. And as you see, as soon as we've hit that, the uh, little window lights up and it tells us that at the moment there's nothing in the camera, zero. Uh, as soon as we load that and we start firing and shooting and taking frames or taking pictures, then that will start to move. Uh, and then we can see a little battery icon there just indicating how much battery is left. So if we move back across here where it says mode and we press mode, I'm going to press it once. I'm just going to try and get a slightly better shot here. I'm just going to try and zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, by pressing mode, a little icon of an eye has come up and that is for red eye reduction. We press mode again, and then it will now show you a flash with a line for it, meaning no flash. Press it again, and that activates the flash. And then last but not least, we have self timer. So we're just gonna go back to the front of the camera to demonstrate that self timer, as we promised. Um, and then here we have your zoom, your wide and telephoto, and here we have your shutter button. So for example, if we was gonna zoom in or we was going to a wide shot we would then select which one we wanted now at the moment we've left self timer on just check in there uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture and this little light should light up so there you go I've given you a countdown i think it's five seconds maybe longer maybe 10 seconds no five seconds and there you go and that indicates that self timer is working and that is also the same for obviously flash or no flash, but I just wanted to show you self timer because that's always a really good one to show you how that little window lights up. Uh, and then last but not least, on this side of the camera, we have the open hatch to get into the back of the camera. It's very clean, this one here. Um, and as you can see, um, pop the film tip in there and it will zoom on for you automatically. And then on the top here, we just have the viewfinder and the viewfinder is really clean, you can see through it beautifully. Oh, and I should say that you can see what type of film you've got in your camera by this little window here. So there you have it. That is the Minolta Zoom 60.